Good morning, Linganore. My name's Rhiannon Seafried, and welcome back to another exciting week of virtual learning. Here are your announcements for the week of October 12th, 2020. For those of you who are unsure about taking the AP exam in May of 2021, sign up. And if you feel like you need to cancel for any reason, or if you can't sit for the exam, for this year only, there is no cancellation or unused fee. For those of you with questions, make sure you contact Ms. Rada Zytune at 240-566-9719. Attention advanced placement students, for those, for those of you taking uh, AP classes in the fall, you should register and pay before November 4th, 2020. And for those of you taking AP classes in the spring, you should register and pay for the exam before March 1st, 2021. Thank you. Early in the morning of October 12th, 1492, a sailor on board the Pinta sighted land beginning a new era of European exploration and expansion. The next day, the 90 crew members of Columbus's three ship fleet ventured onto the Bahamian island that he named San Salvador, ending a nearly 10 week voyage. The 400th anniversary of this event in 1892 inspired the first official Columbus Day holiday in the United States. When President Benjamin Harrison issued a proclamation encouraging the observance of the day. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt designated Columbus Day, then celebrated October 12th, a national holiday in 1934. Since 1971, when Columbus Day was designated the second Monday in October, it has been celebrated as a federal holiday. Attention band students. If you are interested in participating in the Meet the Band video project, contact your section leader to submit your introductory video by Friday, October 16th. The final project will be posted on the band's website later this fall. Students who signed up to participate in the all-county virtual marching band should contact Mr. Lloyd about access to the music and other information if you are not in a fall music class. Students participating in this group should plan to submit your performance videos to Mr. Lloyd by Friday, October 23rd. Chorus and orchestra students who are interested in auditioning for all state ensembles should contact Mr. Dye this week. There will be not there will not be in-person or virtual performances for all state groups, but there will be auditions for the honor of earning a spot in these ensembles. Congratulations to Jessica Young for her story, The Trendy Spectacle of Learning Online with Blue Light Glasses. She is our first reporter to be recognized for Best of Snow this year. Our student newspaper is a five-time snow student newspapers online distinguished site. It is a long journey that requires the achievement of six micro-credentials. One of those micro-credentials that is most difficult to earn is Best of Snow, recognition for quality writing. The organization receives about 100 stories each day and selects from those submissions fewer than 10. We will earn the micro-credential when we have four or more stories published as Best of Snow. Jessica has started us on the path of excellence. Please continue to support us by following our stories on our website, lhslands.org, or through Twitter and Instagram accounts at LHS Journalism and Facebook, LHS Lancer Media. Hey, juniors and seniors. Are you stressed with deciding where to apply for to college? Do you have questions for the colleges you are applying to? This process doesn't have to be stressful. Join virtual college visits where admission representatives are helping to answer your questions. You can see Penn State University, Notre Dame of Maryland, Garrett College, Fairmont State, University of Maryland, Frostburg University, and St. Bonaventure throughout the next several weeks. Visit Student Services Find Out First Counselor Connection Newsletter or Naviance for dates. All visits are scheduled during prep. You must register in Naviance. Please contact Ms. Failer at 240-566-9730 if you need assistance. Linganore Lancers, the yearbook still needs your help. Download the Herf Jones eShare app to easily send us photos to be included in the 2021 yearbook. We are always looking for Lancers doing interesting things in the community, working at home virtually, pursuing new hobbies, mask fashion, as well as senior then and now pictures. Keep those coming. Here are some new topics we are working on this week. Continue to follow Yearbook on Twitter and Instagram to see what we're working on that week. Thank you in advance for helping us make this the best yearbook ever. 
Don't forget to order your 2021 yearbook before January 20th, 2021. We will not accept any pre-orders after that date. We will have a limited supply at the end of the year and prices will go up. Save money and order yours today. We ask that all seniors use VOS for their senior portraits if they want to be included in the traditional senior section. Please select your final yearbook poses by November 1st. Contact Victor O'Neill Studios directly with questions at 1-800-320-2894. We will be collecting casual senior picture poses to be used in a separate section. Also, send in then and now pictures, group pictures of Lancers in middle school or elementary school. It may be hard to recreate the now, but we will at least do a then section. Please email to lanceryearbook at aol.com or use the HJ eShare app. Don't forget to order your senior baby ads. You must order your baby ads to the Herf Jones Yearbook Ordering website. Use reference number 4625. Order yours soon because space could run out. Ads must be placed by November 1st. Questions? Please email Mrs. Bosanetti at tracy.bosanetti at fcps.org. Safe Kids Frederick County invites you to compete in the Frederick Walking Scholars activity to celebrate safe walking and biking in October. Each school has the opportunity to compete against other schools in the county for a prize using a bingo board contest. You have the entire month of October to cross off the activity boxes. Once you have achieved bingo, crossed off five boxes in a row either diagonally, down, or across, you can submit your card to safekids at frederickcountymd.gov or continue to get more bingos before you submit. Please make sure to add your name, grade, and school at the bottom of the card. The school with the highest number of bingos wins a prize, and the top three students will win a gift bag of goodies. Visit the Safe Kids website at health.frederickcountymd.gov slash 626 slash Frederick Gets Active Safely to click the image of the bingo page and download the activity. Pedestrian and bicycle safety resources are available there as well. Come on, Lingenor, we can do this. We need all students, clubs, and athletes to participate to help us win.